Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our live sale this Thursday, April 13, 2023. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Quick note, if you're watching this live after the live is already over, you can check down below in the description box. Items availability and the pricing will be down there. Email me if you have any questions. Um, but how's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all having a great week. I'm so excited that the week is ending. It has been so crazy. I'm sorry I've been so MIA. Um, my, I, th I think I told a couple of you guys this, but, um, my parents just got back from vacation and they've been gone for like, I think a little over three weeks. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, when they go, when, when they go on vacation, they don't like to like tell anyone until they get back. So it's been a, like a little bit of a secret, but they're back and they had a blast and they're really, really tan. I don't think I've ever seen my dad this tan in my entire life. Um, but yeah, so they're back. And I'm really excited that they're home. They're relaxing right now. But how is everyone doing today? There's Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Deborah, Sarah, Tara. Hi, Liz. There's West Coast Gal. Hi, everyone. I feel like my light is like blinding me today. If I turn that off, is it better? Oh, that's so much better. Okay. I was like <laughs> getting blinded. Hi, Edie. How are you? Does anyone have any exciting plans for the weekend? Um, they went to a bunch of different places. They went to Turkey. They went to um, Cappadocia. They went to Istanbul. They went to like a bunch of places over there. They went to see um, the Dead Sea, uh, <laughs> all like those places over there. And my dad's always wanted to like go over there. So it's like they've been planning this for a while and they finally went and they had so much fun. Okay, I'm trying to get everything situated. Also, I'm sorry if I sound crazy. My allergies have just been through the roof. Um, but we're making it through. I can hear the wind. It's really windy right now, too, so it's making the allergies even crazier. Hi, DG House! Oh my gosh, it's snowing! <gasps> it was raining yesterday. It rained last night. It was really random. A few days ago, it was 85 degrees, and then last night it rained, and then now it's, I think it's like 60... It's 59 degrees outside right now. So, I don't know. The weather has been all over the place. It was literally 85 degrees two days ago. Hi, Sarah. There's LN007. Hello. <gasps> Sarah, I, would, I wanted to ask you if you... Oh, I forgot to email you. If you got your package, if you were able, able to open it. I just wanted to make sure that the, the little guy in there was okay. It's flooding and snowing in Utah, Tara. That's crazy. Yeah, West, they haven't traveled since 2019. They, neither one of my parents have um, left, have gone further than 100 miles <laughs> from where we live. So traveling was intense, but they're doing well now that they're back. And they had a blast. I still have yet to go through all the photos that they took. Uh, I'm going to make a photo book for them, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going to make like one of those um, printed photo books that looks like a coffee table book of their trip. So I'm really excited to make that. And I think I'll share, I'll share some of the photos with you guys too once I get them from my mom and dad. Wow, it's 77 over there, Edie. That sounds beautiful. We have, oh, Tara, that's crazy. So like big like potholes and stuff. 59 in Reno. That's about how cold it is here too, Cindy. Oh, Sarah, perfect. Is the plant okay though? I just want to make sure that it was okay. If it if if it's like if anything happens to it, just let me know. I can send you another one. <laughs> is it raining? Oh no, I thought it was raining for a second. Oh, and if you guys can help me think of a giveaway question, that'd be awesome. Today's giveaway is I have another one of these heart mirror um, keychains. So this is today's giveaway. 
So cute. Hi, Norma. <gasps> Ooh, Tara, let me check it out. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is crazy. This is how it's looking over there. That flooding is insane. Oh my gosh. What? That is nuts. Those are, that damage from the flooding is insane. Oh no. Hi, Rusty. How are you? Thank you for joining the live. Uh, yeah, Tanya. <laughs> I was. That's probably why I was um, probably so hectic for the past, like, month. Because I have been running the household. <laughs> it has been intense. I play in <gasps> oh, no, Sarah! Well, let me know, though, if it's, like, okay, though. Like, was it super dry? I hope not. Oh, due to the snow, that's crazy. Okay. Okay. What question should we do? Let's do... Ooh, West Coast gal, I like that. What is your other obsession? What other things do you like to splurge on other than handbags? Leave your answer. It's going to be in um, today's YouTube video. I'm going to link that right here in the live chat. And don't forget to give that video and this video a thumbs up. That really does help the channel immensely, and I would greatly appreciate it. And at the end of today's live sale, we're going to be announcing the winner for our little giveaway here. Um, but with that being said, let's get started. I have a bunch of pretty fun stuff today. I got a bunch of sunglasses. I know a lot of you guys have been um, loving sunglasses and you guys already know, other than handbags and like leather goods in general, like SLGs and stuff. So, actually, probably more than SLGs, sunglasses are my other obsession. I am obsessed with sunglasses. I cannot get enough of them. Okay, that's good to hear, Sarah. This The mother plant that I have is, like, super strong. I When I got it, it literally looked like it was going to die. And it, like, came back to life. And all the cuttings have been doing really well. So I'm hopeful it'll do really good. So I remember you said that you really wanted one of those cuttings. And I've been really scared to, like, ship them out. And you live all the way across the country. But I hope um, it does well with you. I know you'll do it, though. Because you're an amazing plant mom. Oh, skincare too is another thing I love. But I feel like I don't really splurge as much on skincare. I just love to try a new skincare product. I don't think I'm going crazy with it. Shoe fanatics. Oh, yeah. I'm not like super huge on shoes. I feel like I wear like a couple pairs of shoes to death before I like really look for another pair. Um, but yeah, I bought my son vintage Gucci watch on me. <gasps> That's cool, Tara. Those vintage Gucci um, watches are really, really nice. I feel like vintage anything is just like the quality to and craftsmanship. You can't beat it. Hi, Kirsten. Okay, so leave your answer again to today's giveaway question in the, in the um, comment section of the video that I just linked. And then we're giving away this... Heart mirror keychain charm, and it's a metallic, like glittery silver. And I think we'll get started. Let me do a pair of sunglasses first, cause I have them all inside of this bag. I don't know if you guys watched that video um, when I 
I think it was this morning's video that this was in. Um, this is that Longchamp bag that I got, and it had, like, that damage right here. And I think, like, I was working on it last night, and I should have taken, like, before and after photos. And I know right now it probably doesn't look like much, but I think someone spilled something really hot on the bag, I don't know if it was oil or coffee or something, and then it made the leather kind of like pucker and dry up. And I think I spent like an hour and a half, two hours yesterday, like trying to condition and stretch out the leather. And I think it's looking pretty good. I think once I color match it, it's gonna barely be noticeable. So I'm pretty excited about it. Like I, I know it doesn't look like much, but the texture is what um, I think is the craziest difference because the puckering was a little crazy. But I'm pretty excited with how it turned out so far. Oh, Purple Rain! Hello! Oh, Don, hello! Hello, thank you. You love vintage, Kristen. Same. Ooh, perfumes are nice, too. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to show you guys the bag because I was, like, super excited about how it turned out. Um, what will we do? Oh, let's do this first. Okay. This is our first item, and this is a pair of Fendi sunglasses and these are super duper cool look at the shape of these sunglasses so they're a black plastic frame but then they're metal on the insides it's pretty cool they have like little nose pieces they have mirrored lenses i wish these were bigger because then i would be able to definitely rock them like height wise but these are such a vibe like these are really really cool I feel like you're supposed to wear them more like on the end of your nose or something, but yeah, I feel like these are such cool sunglasses. These are Fendi, and they're in really great shape. Um, no like major marks or anything on the lenses or anything like that. The frame's in great shape as well. Um, they say Fendi on the sides, and at the very ends, they have little like the little Fendi Fs um, embossed on the little end piece right there. But this is how they look. I feel like I don't. I definitely don't have the face shape for these. But they're really cool sunglasses. So I had to get them for you guys. I know a lot of you guys like kind of cool, funky sunglasses. <gasps> no way! Anne! From where? Was it from the J-Ports? Okay, so this is item number one. Oh, Tanya, I don't know. Um, Vadrian... If you saw, but Vadrian sent you an invoice for your shipping for, uh, oh, not yet, actually. Sorry, Vadrian, I thought Vadrian did. But um, we should have it, we'll have it sent to you by like the end of the live or le uh, later on today. But um, yeah, Mirasol, exactly. So these are black cat eye Fendi sunglasses. With mirrored lenses and silver hardware. Oh, from TikTok? No way! How are those sales? I haven't bought anything from a TikTok sale. Um, we're going to do this one for $120. That's going to be item number one. 120 for our Fendi Cat Eye Sunglasses. They're cool. I wish these looked better on me. Because I really like them. Maybe from far away they look better. Anyway, so that's item number one. And then up next, we got number two. <gasps> no way, Tara, really? Did you, um, do you have you guys, like, from the TikTok sales? Do they have, like, you can buy stuff directly from TikTok now, right? Like, there's, like, a buy now button. 
Is that how you guys bought them? I, I, I just, I'm like curious about how it works. I think that's really cool. Nice, Anne. I need to check out those sales. Okay, up next, item number two. Let's do a baggy bag. Um, next up, I have a vintage, this is a vintage long chomp. And it's in black leather. This is the same leather that they use on like the handles um, and trim of the long chomp les pliage bags. It's kind of like that same like textured leather. And it has um, gold hardware, but a little bit of the color is coming off on the hardware right there. And what's cool is it actually comes with the key. So you can actually lock this, which is really cool. And you kind of push this down. You slide it down. And then that releases the top flap like that. And the key is just right inside of here. Um, you actually don't even have to close this. You can do the zipper up. So there's actually a zippered compartment, or the zippered, um, the main compartment of the bag is zippered, and inside there's just a zipper pocket and an open pocket. And the inside is also in leather. Just make sure. Just kidding, it's a coated canvas on the inside. Inside is coated canvas, exterior is in leather, and there also is another pocket right here in the front and then another one in the back as well. I bought from Foreign Objects. <gasps> oh, you know, I follow Foreign Objects on like Instagram. <laughs> I, <laughs> Kirsten, they're all back there. Oh, wait, Totoro is not here. I have Totoro right there in front of me. He's sitting on a chair. Uh, but here it is. Crossbody Chef also is adjustable. And yeah, there we go. The exterior is in pretty good shape, like very minimal rubbing on the corners. There's the back, and then there's the bottom. So this is our vintage. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? Uh, long chomp, crossbody bag with gold hardware. Okay, and this is going to be how much for this guy? Okay, this one's going to be $80. Oh, you got a coupon for 25% off. That is a good deal, Ben. That's awesome. I, I need to check out those TikTok things. Alright, next up, we got number three. I'll probably alternate between, like, sunglasses because I have a pretty good amount of them. Um, I actually have another pair of... Oh, Purple Rain's calling number two. Congratulations, Purple Rain. Number two is going to you. Oh, sorry, Lady Badger. Purple Rain called that one right before you. But congratulations, Purple Rain. That one is yours. Okay, next up is another pair of Fendi sunglasses. This is going to be item number three. And these are a little bit of a different style and silhouette. This is definitely more of like a pair of sunglasses that I would try to hoard, which I probably am trying to if no one gets these. But these are fabulous. They're large, oversized, square. Definitely one of my favorite shapes and silhouettes for sunglasses. And... They have um, gold hardware. They just have like the gold Fs on the sides. Super cute and uh, like gray lenses. So this is gonna be item number three. These are our black Fendi sunglasses with gold hardware. Oh, thank you, Tara. I really like these. These are really cool. Okay, we're going to do these for 170 and that's going to be item number three. These are in great shape and a great silhouette. I feel like these would look good on a lot of people. And who doesn't love oversized sunglasses for the summer? I feel like any time of the year, actually. 
You gotta protect your eyeballs. I'm gonna keep these on for a hot second. I like these. They help protect my eyes from all of my lights that are hitting me right now. Okay, so that's item number three. Our Fendi sunglasses up next is going to be item number four. And we have... Um, this is a little Kate Spade wallet. And it's in this like nude pink color. I need to take these off now because I can't see colors properly with these on. It's like a nude pink color, has a little spade right there. Um, hardware is like a light, light gold. And the um, hardware does have like some normal signs of wear, like some light marks, but nothing very noticeable. Kate Spade just stamped right there on the back. And this is like a little key ring right here. And there's actually a little snap button right there, opens like this, and then you have four card pockets side. And the interior is nice and clean, it's in great shape. And the two pockets inside are like a metallic, um, like, champagne colored leather. So it's really cute. A great little compact wallet that you can attach your keys onto or attach to your bag. And this is going to be item number four. Kate Spade pink leather small card case with keychain. With light gold hardware. And what do you say, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $45. It's going to be item number four for our Kate Spade for $45. Next up for item number five. Oh, Purple Rain is calling item number three. Congratulations, Purple Rain. Those are the sunglasses. The sunglasses are fantastic. Okay, let's put these guys over there. Congrats, Purple Rain. Those sunglasses are gorgeous. Okay, for number five, we have... Okay, this one here. Let's do... Oh, I have um, this Chloe t-shirt. And... It is a size large, and it's 100% cotton. And it has um, this, like, abstracty kind of, like, printed photo of Marilyn Monroe. And it's in this, like, teal color. It's a large... It's really, really cute. And, yeah. Made in France. Beautiful shirt. And this one's going to be item number five. This is our Teal Chloe Marilyn Monroe printed shirt, size large, 100% cotton. And this is going to be how much we for this one? Okay, let's do a discount on this one. We had this one at $150. We're going to do $120 today. So that's going to be item number five for our Chloe t-shirt. $120. Okay, next up. Um, let's go to number six. That's our Chloe t-shirt. Okay, this next one is a Charlotte Olympia. This one is so stinking cute. It's like a little evening wristlet, like, pouch bag. And it's in just a really soft leather. It's like a tan leather. And then it has this little cat print in gold on the front. And then just Charlotte Olympia in the back. And then you have little um, metal aglets on the ends of the leather poles and then you can just wear it on your wrist like this if you wanted and carry it like that and what's really fun is that the interior is in this beautiful metallic gold so it's leather on the inside as well metallic gold interior really pretty and this also does come with the dust bag as well and 
This one's really fun. Just a cute little pouch. And this is um, our tan leather Charlotte Olympia um, drawstring pouch with gold leather interior. And this is going to be... We're going to do this one for $80. This one is in like new condition as well. And that's item number six, our Charlotte Olympia drawstring pouch, number six. Okay, next up, we've got number seven. Look how cute. This is like that design that she's known for is that cat. She made those, um, I think she became like most famous with the shoes that were like the little cat design like this. So that's the little bag. Next up. We have item number uh, number seven, and it's going to be this Rebecca Minkoff little satchel. It's in this white Safiano leather, and it has this purple floral print on it with silver hardware. There's a little front pocket right here, and crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. The bag is in pretty good shape. Minimal signs of wear. Um... Very, like, slight rubbing, if any, on the corners. It's in really good shape. Has the top handles as well. Has a little magnetic snap up at the top. And then the interior just has one interior pocket. Just, like, one little card block right there. I'm sorry, it's so hard to see inside. But um, inside is super-duper clean. Bag's in great shape. <laughs> it looks like Apollo. It does, Kirsten, huh? Okay, so this is item number seven. This is our white Safiano uh, Rebecca Minkoff satchel with purple flowers and silver hardware. And this one's gonna be how much later for this one? Okay, this one is gonna be $45. That's item number seven. Oh, for sure, DG House. Okay, number one were our Fendi sunglasses. They're these black lenses. And then they they end in metal, but they also have the metal on the inside as well. They have the little nose pieces and they have a mirrored lenses. And they say Fendi in silver on the sides as well. And then on the very end, they have a little Fendi F and Boz on there. They look like this on. I'm showing it already, B train. I feel like it would really been I know. I can't with you. <laughs> okay, so these are these are um Fendi sunglasses number one. Oh let's do another pair of sunglasses. Okay, let's go to item number eight. And what are these? Oh, these are the oh, these are the ones that I wanted to keep. Hold on, not me, not me wanting to keep the sunglasses. No, 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 neither one of them. Oh, I actually have a pair of, um, you're welcome, DG House. This is a pair of Ray-Ban eyeglasses, actually. So you can just get the prescription changed out in them, but they're just, like, some black frames. The frames are in great shape, silver hardware. They're just, like, the basic. Um, this is what they look like on. This person's prescription is, is actually isn't too bad. I feel like they had an ast astigmatism, but... Uh, it's just some black ray band frames. This is going to be item number eight. Uh, hi, Cindy. These are black ray band eyeglass, prescription eyeglass. Okay, we're just going to do these for $25 if anyone's interested. They have someone else's prescription prescription in them, but you can just get those switched out and put yours in there. $25 for these guys. They're in great shape. That's going to be item number eight. Then item number nine. Oh, let me put you. I don't want to. Oh, 
want to forget the key to go with this bag. I'm just going to put the glasses in here as well. Okay, next up, item number nine. And for number nine, I have, this is a Balenciaga. Oh, Lady Badger's calling it. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Number eight's going to you. Those are our black Ray-Ban glasses. Okay. Number nine, we have, um, this is the uh, Balenciaga, just east-west. Um, wallet and it's in gray, red, cream, and tan. Has silver hardware and uh, opens up really nicely like this. And it's super clean on the interior. There's a nice big um, coin pouch right there as well, which is nice and clean in the interior. Um, I think the only marks on the interior are just right there. You see some like discoloration just right there in that pocket um the exterior is in pretty good shape hi linda okay so this is item number nine this is our balenciaga striped wallet with silver hardware. How much was the wallet paid right? Okay, this one is $120. But actually, this is to $100 today. That's going to be item number nine. You know, the ads are so weird because sometimes they pop up during the lives and sometimes they don't. Like, it's like super random. Okay, next up, we got item number 10. That's nine. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay, number 10 is next. Oh, I still have this beauty. This one is still available. This is that Kate Spade satchel. Oh. It's even more pretty today than it was last time. Oh, during the... This is like... I have like some natural lighting coming in right now. So I think it's even prettier because of that. You can actually see more of the red and the blue glitter that's in there too. So it's black glitter and it has like some red, blue, and like silver in there as well. It is gorgeous. Light gold hardware. We've got the top handle, crossbody strap. Crossbody strap is not adjustable or removable. But look at that. There's also black leather trim. The sides, the top handle, and the bottom are in black leather. Um, the hardware is in pretty good shape. Just very light marks from like normal wear with nothing noticeable. And it's look really hard. And then this opens up like this. And it kind of opens up like a Fendi. You got two compartments on either side. In the back, there's one back pocket. And yeah, it's just a really, really, really cute bag. Definitely a showstopper. Just look how pretty that is. And that is going to be item number 10. Hi, Linda. Okay, this is our black um, Kate Spade glitter satchel um, with light gold hardware and black leather trim. And this is going to be how much we doing? Okay, this one is $75. That's going to be item number 10. I love that bag. It's so pretty. You guys know how much I love glitter. All right, next up, we got item number 11. And... Oh, Cynthia Penna. Cynthia, congratulations. Number 10 is going to you. Yay! Such a pretty bag. Congratulations. There she is one more time, shining beautifully. Let's put her right there so she can shine and shimmer around the corner. Okay, so this is... Unsold. Okay. 
Next up, number 11, we have, okay, I have another Chloe piece, and this is a Chloe wallet in black leather. This one is in wonderful condition. It's like new. It has um, the Chloe metal hardware right there, and then it has, come on, doesn't want to focus. It has these, um, the horse print is embroidered on in like this yellowy gold stitching. And we've got some card slots in the back. And then there's a pocket right there as well. And then it zips around like that. And then the interior is just in this tan fabric. And yeah, she's really, really cute. This is going to be number 11, and this is our Chloe black leather zip card case with horse print and gold hardware. And this is going to be... Okay, we're going to do this one for $150. That's going to be item number 11 for our Chloe $150. She's in like new condition. So cute. Is this black? You know what? I think it actually might be a really dark navy. No, wait, it's black. Maybe? Honestly, it's, it might be a really dark navy. I think it is a navy. Like a really, really dark navy. It's almost black. I know, Kirsten. I just need to let it go. I have so much. I have so many things. Also, I accidentally bought some more wallets. So... There's also that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's I'm pretty sure it's navy. It's like a really dark navy. Dark navy. The real world. So I want it. Oh no! I'm sorry they rejected it. Oh yeah, Glinda. It's so cute. It's actually right here. Yay! I'm just waiting to get the little um, hardware so I can remove the chain and then reattach them with the little clips so that way you can take them off. Really, really cute. Love that. So congratulations to Linda on that one. Okay. So that was that. Oh, and um, I do have the sunglasses. So that's going to be... Okay, so number 12... Um, these are the Givenchy sunglasses that our friend Jean's asking about, and here they are. They're pretty fabulous. I really like them too. Another pair that I wouldn't be mad if no one bought because they are fantastic. They're large and in charge. They are kind of like an ombre from brown to blue to like a smoky gray, and the arms are in that like that same brown color like slightly opaque and it just has the gucci a uh, gucci a uh, givenchy logo on the sides right there in metal in like a it's like a light light gold and yeah the lenses are in a like a gray that ombres to like kind of like a more clear that's how these look and and they probably just didn't take yours because they have so many of them and they like don't know what to do with them probably. I feel like that might be why. So this one is going to be our Givenchy sunglasses in brown uh like blue and gray with light gold hardware and these are how much for for these guys?
Okay, these are going to be $130. That's going to be item number 12 for our Givenchy sunglasses. $130. Next up is going to be item number 13. Okay, number 13 is going to be... Ooh, we got to make it good. It's going to be number 13. Do I have anything exciting yet? Let's do... You got... I, I kind of redid the top shelf back there. And I wonder if I can just zoom it up there. Hold on, let's see. Will it zoom or do I have to move the whole camera? Oh, no, it's not going to zoom. Oh, you're welcome, Jean. I redid the top right there. So there's some, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, though. I've been, I was just, like, playing around with, like, different bags and stuff. But let's see what we have back here. Uh, number 13. Let's do... Number 13. Okay. This is the yellow Chanel bag. We missed it. Okay, number 13 is going to be mustard. <laughs> there's actually another... Hold, there's another shelf up there, but I... Um, I took, like, everything out, so... Like, there's not really anything up there at all. There's, an there's another shelf up there, so... That's what that... <laughs> that's what that looks like up there. But I took everything down. Hey, Hana, how's it going? Okay, um, I've shown you guys mustard before. So we got mustard. This is our, uh, it has like the little, the see through top, silver hardware. It has like a glazed yellow leather and back strap. Super cute. This is gonna be. Number three, yellow, Chanel, um, glazed leather backpack with clear top and silver hardware. How much is this be doing? Okay, we have this one at 2250 We're going to do it for, let's do... Okay, we're going to bring it down to 2,000. Okay, that's going to be item number 13. That's going to be our deal of the day. 2,000 for our yellow Chanel mini backpack for $2,000. Perfect for summer. She's so cute. Really? Oh my gosh, Kirsten. <laughs> you make it sound so fantastical. The top shelf. It's like um it's like one of those like RPG games when you have to go to, like you go to the store and you're trying to buy magical items. <laughs> it's like the top shelf items. Okay, so that's our clear and yellow leather Chanel backpack. What's that? Oh, I have some posters right here. Uh, but they're just like a set of three coasters like this. These are Anthropology. Um, they're like orange, gold, blue, and cream. And they retailed for like $8 each. I have a set of three of them. So these are a set of three Anthropology coasters, gold, orange, blue, and cream. And let's do the three for like what? We'll do these for like $10.
cursing. You make me want to play, like, Final Fantasy or something. I miss, like, the old Final Fantasy. That was my favorite. I think I played up to Final Fantasy... What number did I end on? I think it was bef- like was the last one I played seven? No, it must have been way. I don't remember. Um, okay, so that was item number fourteen. So ten dollars for a set of three anthropology coasters. Then fifteen is up next. Mm-hmm. Okay, next up I have this is the cutest rifle and. Rifle Paper Co. mug. And it just has, like, different little doggies on it. I don't know if you can find one of your pups on here. But it's really cute. It has a gold handle and a gold rim on top. And really cute. It still has, like, the sticker on the bottom. I'm sad because none of them are Peanut or Eliza, really. Which is surprising. Anyway, so this is item number, um, <gasps> West Coast Guy, are you serious? I wish I was in Canada so I can order them. Okay, so this is our Rifle Paper Co. Dog Mug, and how much are we doing this one for, Vitorian? Yeah, okay, we're just going to do this one for like 10 bucks. That's going to be item number 15. You know what? I might have played up to 10. Now that I think of... Wait, maybe I played up to 14. There's no way I only stopped at 7. I think I ended at a double digit. So I had to have at least played 10. I honestly don't remember. It was so long ago. But I was super into Final Fantasy. But my favorite RPG of all time... And I literally downloaded it on my phone and my iPad. Like the old version um, of Secret of Mana... I am obsessed. I even bought it for the Switch. But Secret of Mana was my number one favorite RPG. I, I'm, I was obsessed with that game. I want to play it right now. Final Fantasy. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I, like Secret of Mana was so good, though. I don't know why I love that game so much. I remember my cousin and I played that game like 5 million times. Like, we beat it, like, five million times. And it was our favorite thing. That should be our next question. What is your favorite RPG? <laughs> Too bad not everyone plays video games, so. I don't really play video games that much anymore at all, but Secret of Mana, though, always has a place in my heart of my favorite game. Okay, 16 is up next. And for 16, I have... Um, I have this gorgeous coach. This is like a coach legacy crossbody bag. It's in this mustard yellow color. Um, I'm just missing the hang tag on this guy, but it's super cute. It has a crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable. There's a nice back zipper pocket right there. You have a turn lock right here. And then when you open it up, there's a front pocket. And then there's actually another pocket here in the back of the bag as well. And then the interior has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. Um, there's some slight discoloration on the inside. Nothing crazy. Just like some light discoloration. Um, and there's a little bit right here too in this pocket behind the hardware for the turn lock. But otherwise, the bag is in great shape. The color is beautiful on this bag. I am obsessed with the color. It's so good. It's like a beautiful mustard. Tales of Symphonia. I have never played that one. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> there she's joined my island for a fifth time. Is intense. I have like two thousand. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh, Animal Crossing. Wait, and did you ever get the um the Hello Kitty like the Sanrio expansion pack 
for Animal Crossing. It's number 16. This is our uh, mustard yellow coach legacy flat bag with brass hardware. And this is going to be how much Patreon for this guy? Okay, we have this one at 120, but we're going to just do 100 today. That's going to be item number 16, $100 for our coach. Okay, next up, got 17. Ah, uh, the so cute. I love that, um, like the, the Hello Kitty stuff. Ooh, Lady Badger's calling 15 and 16. Congratulations, Lady Badger, 15 and 16 are going to you. All right, that's our mug and our coach bag. Yay. All right. Oh, wait, Hana, you also played Secret of Mana? That was literally my favorite. I managed to get two packs of them. I had to get two different targets. <laughs> and... Okay, 17 is up next. And for 17, do I have any more sunglasses or is that it? Am I like a greedy little sunglass horror? <laughs> um, oh, okay. I have, um, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that I have this. This is a little, um, it's a coach dog collar. And it's in, like, the brown monogram canvas. And then it's, like, leather underneath. And it has silver hardware. It's really cute. It's just a little coach. Dog collar. And somebody number 17. Brown canvas and leather um, coach monogram dog collar with silver hardware. And this is how much for Adrian for this one? We're going to do this one for $30. And that's for our little uh, dog collar. It's going to be number 17 for $30. Um, oh my gosh, has anyone ever, um, did anyone ever play GoldenEye? Like double like the first Goldeneye 007. Um, it actually gets pretty big. Let me measure the length of like, cause it probably go for like a small to like larger size dog because the collar is pretty big. I don't think like it'll fit like on a Chihuahua or something. Well, actually, it might, depending on how fat your chihuahua's neck is. But, oh, Lady Badger's calling. <laughs> Congratulations, Lady Badger. <laughs> this one's going to you. It's super cute. Okay. But, yeah, it's like a, it's like a good, good size. And then it, can, it expands. Oh, it's a medium size, it says on the inside. It's a size medium. Yes! N64. I, oh my gosh. My friends and I, we would have literal parties. Like, every time anyone had a birthday party, we would just play GoldenEye. And that's it. And then we would just go crazy. And then we had, like, all the codes. And we, we do, like, infinite everything. Um, it was super fun. Yeah, I can uh, let me post the link for the giveaway. That was literally like the one game, like the one shooting game that I was good at. Like I'm not good at those kinds of games. But that was the only one that I was pretty good at. Okay, next up. I still also have these um really cool Moschino sunglasses. They're the ones that look like pink candy canes.
They say Moschino on the side in, in like a gunmetal-y silver color. And then they have a gray lens. Definitely a vibe. <laughs> oh my gosh, these do not fit me. Okay, so these are... <gasps> do you guys remember, um... What was that other game? Um... I really like to play, like, the fighting games, too. Like, Tekken. I love Tekken. Uh, oh, Darkstalkers was so fun. Pitbull. Oh, yeah, Lady Badger. It should fit a Pitbull puppy. Okay, so that was 17. Okay, 18 is th are these sunglasses. And these are our Moschino uh, pink and white sunglasses with gray lenses and this is how much paper okay these were 85 but let's do 70 we're gonna do a discount today that's number 18 70 dollars for number 18 our moschino sunglasses super cute Oh, I also have, um, the new snap. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love Soul Calibur. I love the original one. I have, I played, like, all the original games. <laughs> um, I have a, this is a Tory Burch, like, card case wallet. And these, they stick this to the back of your cell phone or your cell phone case. And you'll put that on there. It has, like, this... Like brand new, never used. Um, it's really cute. I love the design of it. It's like orange, cream, yellow, pink, and then the green up here is a patent green leather. And then you have like the one card pocket there, and then you have another one up at the top. And this is in brand new condition. And this is going to be number 19. This is our Tory Burch cell phone sticky wallet. And this is how much we're doing for this guy? Okay, we're gonna do this one for just $35. Again, this is in brand new condition. That's number 19. <gasps> Did you guys ever play the original Tomb Raider? The original Tomb Raider was so much fun. That was literally my favorite game. Do you remember when they used to give out, like, these, um, they used to have, like, like, samples of the games. Like, it wasn't the whole game. It was just, like, a level, and you could, like, you get them, and you, you can play those. I remember I had, like, the sample of that game, and we played it, like, intensely. Like, it was, like, an actual game. We used to be running around jumping. I never played Pokemon Arceus. Okay, next up is going to be item number 20. And... <gasps> you did, Kristen? Wait, you, are, are, you talking, wait are, we, are you talking about um, Tomb Raider? Yeah, the demo CDs! That's the best. Those demo CDs were so fun. I wish they still did that now. Okay, next up, this is an All Saints cross. This is so cute, you guys. This is such a cute bag. It's kind of like a bucket bag style. Um, it's in this, like, taupe gray leather, and it's kind of like a glazed finish. Oh, uh, there's two front pockets that has silver hardware. I am obsessed with this little top handle right here. I don't know why I think it's so, so cute. But it kind of, like, cinches the bag up a little bit like this. And then you can even wear it on your shoulder, and it looks super duper cute. And then you can undo it as well. You can actually remove this whole thing. And then you have, like, a whole another silhouette for the bag because it, like, opens it up like that. So you can wear it like that as well. And then you can just like 
if you didn't want to take this whole thing off, you can just do it like that. And it's such a cute bag. The interior has a zipper pocket and an open and two open pockets inside. So it's kind of hard to see inside there. But this bag is in really great shape. There's no like rubbing or discoloration or anything on the exterior. And the inside is super clean as well. So it's in really great shape. The crossbody strap is adjustable. It's just not removable. But the strap is nice and thick. It's a one inch strap. And what's cool too is you can put this strap on something else because you can remove this. You can also extend it a little bit more as well. But like you go from this shape and then you change it and now it's like a little bit more of like a half moon silhouette which I think is really cute. Candy Crush! Oh my gosh! Liz! Oh my, I, Zelda was so much fun. When that came out, when it first came out on Nintendo 64. The Ocarina of Time, is that what it was called? Uh, so this is our taupe, glazed, um, All Saints leather bucket bag with silver hardware. And we're going to do this one for how much, Vadrian, for this guy? Okay, we're going to do this one for $75. I think that's a good deal on that one. I love All Saints bag. This one's in really great shape, and I really like the style and silhouette of this one. I was tempted to just, like, keep the top handle part because I think it's so cute. I was like, what bag can I put that on? But look how cute that is. It's adorbs. I love it. And I also do like this glazed leather. Oh, bye, Tanya. Bye, Hannah. Have a good rest of your day. Do you have denture glue? <laughs> no. Not denture glue. Oh, goodness. All right. Next up is number 21. And... I have, um, these are Valentino sandals. They're so cute. Let me just show you one so it's easier to see. They have, like, these cute little ankle straps. And they're in, it's in patent leather in black, like a gray, blue, pink, red. And this is in brand new condition. These are in a size 39 and a half. Look at the bottoms. Like, they haven't been worn at all. Still has, like, the original stickers from the store as well. And just a really cute sandal. Again, these are a size 39 and a half. Bye, Pollyanna. Ooh, thanks, Hannah. Okay, this is 21. This is our... Valentino Broken Heart uh, Patent Leather Sandals, size 39.5, and oh, it has, what color hardware is this? A gunmetal hardware. And how much are these, Vadrian? Okay, these are $175, and that's number 21. Okay, up next. The number 22. I just noticed how crazy my hair looks today. Do you guys remember when I cut off all my hair? And now it's growing back. I have hair again. Just in time for summer. I don't know why I cut off all my hair in the winter time. It was so cold. I definitely missed having hair during the freezing temperatures. Okay, next up, we have... Okay, I did all these. Uh, I did that. Oh, this is fun. Okay, um, this is a Kate Spade 
like little clutch pouch and it's in a canvas and then it has like this printed design on it it says play the field and it just has a little Kate Spade hardware right there and I love the little grass design you know what would be so cute is if you like stuck like little Totoro stickers on this <laughs> and just like put them on the grass I think it would be so cute but it just says play the field uh, on one side and interior is yeah nice and clean so this is striped lining and this is I'm trying to get my pink hair back oh thank you Kirsten oh my gosh it'd be so cute with pink hair I'm gonna bleach my hair it's gonna be so intense can you imagine if I actually bleached my hair Really, Kirsten? Right, West Coast Cow, the All Saints bag is super duper cute. So this is our Kate Spade Play the Field canvas tote. And this is how much, Peter? <gasps> Anita, that's awesome! Oh my gosh, I haven't been to three-way thrift in so long. Okay, we're going to do this one for $25 for our pouch. It's in like new condition. It's number 22. Just to wear a wig. I love wigs. <laughs> I wish I could have a short hair wig. I would totally be blonde. I just wouldn't be able to commit to going blonde because then I would have to keep getting it like, like re-dyed with the roots. And my hair grows so fast, I would have roots in like two days. Okay, next up, so that was number 22. Number 23 is next. Oh, Lady Badger's calling 22. Congrats, Lady Badger. Yay. Woo. Okay. Okay, next up, um, oh, I still have this little beauty. This is that brand new with tags, Dooney and Burke um, crossbody bag, and it's in this taupe leather. It's like a smooth leather. It's really, really nice. It's like literally brand new. It still has the tags. It says all the packaging. The dust bag is inside right there. Um. There's a zipper pocket and an open pocket on the interior right there. And then the zipper is right there. There's the back. There's the bottom. There's the sides. You need a K-pop so <gasps> Can you imagine if I had a silver wig? He has to do the little finger heart thing. Oh wait, is that the that this? When you go like this, little heart. New member of Streak. <laughs> okay, so this is our taupe. Uh, Dooney and Burke crossbody bag, new with tags and dust bag. And how much was this, Patron? Okay, this one's eighty-five dollars. Again, this is brand new with tags. That's number twenty-three. Sorry, you guys. Patron is babysitting right now. <laughs> the baby is just like attacking. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh. Um, Lady Vag, what kind of glasses are you looking for? Like eyeglasses? Oh, eyeglasses. Oh, no, glasses. Like reading glasses. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, 24 is up next. I was like, wait, what? Okay. 24. That baby is really going at it. That baby is gonna get you. 
Oh, I still have um, these Uggs, the platform furry Uggs as well. And these are a size 7. These are brand new. So. <laughs> I don't know if I could do blue tip. I feel like Adrian has to go with a less edgy group. He's got to go with, like, a softer boy group. <laughs> okay, so these are our green, uh, white, and black furry Ugg platform sandals. Size 7. And these are new. Um, these are fifty-five dollars. Can be number twenty-four. I wish I knew more about K-pop groups. I'm not like really like knowledgeable about them. That's like my sister and my brother and like literally all my cousins. Like they're all like super into K-pop, so I don't really know anything about it. Uh, next up, oh, I still also do have these. These are the ones I have my own pair of as well. These are also Givenchy. These are our, um, gunmetal Givenchy aviators. Do I, oh, I don't have any brooches, Rusty. I'm sorry. But, like, what kind were you looking for? I can keep an eye out for them. Like, I'm always looking for, like, Chanel brooches and, like, other, like, designer ones. But I haven't really run into any recently that aren't, like, super crazy expensive. Okay, so these are our bl uh, gunmetal um, Givenchy aviators. And these are in like new condition. These are $110, and that's going to be item number 25. Number 26. This is the red velvet one. What else do I have in here? Oh, I also have these. I totally forgot that I had these sunglasses. Okay. Um, these are, let me just do these sunglasses really quickly. These are Tom Ford's. I kind of like these. Okay, these are... You're welcome, Rusty. I'll keep an eye out for sure, though. So these are uh, black Tom Ford sunglasses with gold hardware. These are like black plastic frames, but then they're kind of like an aviator style. They have like the metal inlay on the interior. They have metal on the sides. It's like gold. And there's just, like, a like one light scratch on the left lens. I don't know if it's going to show at all. It's really light. Um, but it's not noticeable at all, especially, like, when you're wearing it. Um, DG House, no, I don't have any straps today. I'm sorry. Thank you, DG House. Um, and how much are these uh, Tom Ford's made right? Okay, we had these at one ten. We're gonna do these for ninety five dollars today. That's gonna be under under a hundred. It's number twenty six for the Tom Ford sunglasses. And then next up, I have another pair of sunglasses. These are also like another like um, kind of like cat eye style, and these are Saint Laurent. And these are a cat eye aviator in silver. So these are number 27. Saint Laurent cat eye silver metal aviator sunglasses. Um, these do have a couple marks. So there's like a mark on the right lens. And there's a couple little marks on the left right there. But still cute. And... Definitely fun. I like that these are like a bigger size too. 
Definitely still too small for me though. And how much do these be doing? Okay, we're gonna do these for just eighty-five dollars. We'll keep these under a hundred as well. That's gonna be item number twenty-seven. And then one more pair of sunglasses that I have. These are the damaged. Well, they're not super damaged, but they're missing one of the nose pieces. You can get those replaced at Chanel or at a um, store that carries Chanel sunglasses, like a Nordstrom or um, like a Bloomingdale's. You just, need a you just need a replacement piece for the little plastic nose. These are just some Chanel aviators. And these have a like a brown um, lens. And then the arms are kind of like in this, it's like gold in, like gold metal inlay, but it has like, a, like an opaque like a opaque clear white um, overlay. It's like plastic and the ends are in white. And these are number 28. And we're going to do these for $80. And the, the rest of the sunglasses are in great shape. They just need a replacement for the little nose piece. Um, but yeah. I wonder if you can just like find a piece to replace these like online. That's number 28. I'm going full speed. I don't know why. I'm just like going fast today. It's probably the baby screaming in the background. I just noticed that the baby stopped screaming, though. <laughs> I'm like, where'd the baby go? <laughs> oh, the baby is watching TV now. Sad. I'm just used to the chaos. Okay. I know, I'm going so fast. What time is it? It's like 3... <gasps> it's only 3.25? We start... It's like not even like an hour and a half in. I'm already at number 29. This is like a record. Jeez Louise. I was going to say, what should we end at today? But we probably should end... I'm, um, I want to make a cake. I'm going to make that Boston cream pie cake for my mom and dad. Because I didn't get to make it for them for when they came. I just bought a cheesecake instead. Uh, but I'm like, mom, you have to try the cake because I, I was actually able to make it. So I got to go do that later. Okay, 29 is going to be... What do I have over here? Oh, I don't know if there are any Princess Mononoke fans out there, but I just have like this Princess Mononoke shirt. It's a size medium. It's definitely like an oversized medium, but it doesn't fit me, so I'm sad about it. But it's Princess Mononoke. It's a black t-shirt. Look at the print on the front. There she is. Nothing on the back. Uh, but this is number 29. Uh, black Princess Mononoke t-shirt. Size medium. And how much is this yeah, we're just going to do this for 10 bucks. I don't know if there's any Princess Monroe fans out there. Go to 70, 45. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. Stop. Okay. Oh, wait. What was number 28? Did I skip it? <gasps> Kirsten's getting it. Yay, Kirsten. Woo! Oh, that's right. Okay. Next up, we got number 30. Oh, Fanny, I'm sorry. Kristen called that one before you. Do I have any other animations over here? I think that was it. I had that other one. Yeah. 
<laughs> up to a hundred. Um, oh, I have, I forgot that I have these, like, what are these? Little lemons? Are these, like, those double zero ones? What size were these? Like, negative ten. If anyone is a super tiny person, um, I have these really little Lulu lemons. And I can't even find the pockets anymore for these. Where did they go? These are literally so small. Like, I can't even fit my arm inside this thing. The red ones? I can't even find the pockets. Didn't I find them last time? Where are they? They're, like, hiding from me. Aren't these things supposed to have pockets? Oh my gosh. Where did they go? I know. I remember seeing them last time and I was like... Oh, okay, yeah, there's the pocket. Oh my gosh. I'm like going crazy. I was like, where are these pockets? Wait, there's only one pocket. Oh, here's the size. Okay, extra, extra small. These are tiny as can be. I don't even know if these will fit onto the kids, but... Um, this is number 30. Our maroon Lulu. Lulu lemon. Um, extra, extra small leggings. And these are how much, Peter? Okay, these are $20. Hadrian, charge me. Wait, what? Lady Badger? They're so small. These are so tiny. <laughs> okay, so these are $20 if anyone's interested. If anyone knows anyone this tiny. Um, yeah. Okay, 31. I don't know what number we'll go to, but we'll go. We'll keep going for sure. Next up, I uh, have... Oh, I forgot that I had this. This is a Claire Vivier clutch, the fold over clutch in, um, this is like a red suede. Really cute. It does have like some slight discolorations, primarily right like by where the zipper is. Do you see like right here on the top? It's a little bit of discoloration just right there in the corner. But it's really, really pretty. Gold hardware. The interior is in a uh, chambray lining. There is some writing right there, the Sharpie right there. But otherwise, really, really cute. This little clutch. Oh, you guys are so sweet to each other. I love it. Okay, so this is our red, I don't think so, Claire Vivier um, suede fold over a clutch with gold hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for, yeah, let's do this one for $60. That's going to be item number 31 for our Claire Vivier fold over clutch. Wait, was that supposed to be 30 or 31? Oh, yeah, 30. 31. The 31 was the Lululemon. Yeah. I just said that, Adrian. Adrian did not pay attention to Kristen for the t-shirts. Only a lady badger. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Okay, 32 is up next. And let's do... Okay, I did the shoes. I still have this um, Colt Gaia. This is comes with a box and dust bag and everything. This is the Arc Clutch. And this is in this beautiful, like... It's like yellow, gold, white, like clear 
um, acrylic. It's really, really pretty. Oh, for sure, Linda. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so that's that. Uh, this is our Cult Gaia Gaia Acrylic Arc Clutch with box and dust bag. And this is how much favorite? Okay, this one is a hundred and ten dollars. Number thirty-two. Okay, next up, we got number 33. And. Okay, oops. Isn't she gorgeous, though? I like, love this thing. Okay, and next up. Okay, 33 is going to be, do I have anything? I still have our pink Chanel. This is that glazed pearlescent pink Chanel with a ruthenium hardware. Gorgeous, she just has some marks back here. And some slight rubbing. But she is a beauty. You can wear it as a crossbody, as a shoulder bag. Inside is nice and clean. There's just one little zipper pocket right there. And this is number 33. This is our pearlescent pink um, glaze. Chanel flat bag with ruthenium hardware. And this is going to be how much for you for this one? Okay, this is 1500 Keeping it at that price. It's number 33. Huh? Okay. Next up, we have number 34, I think. Um, I think I might have some. I just have to find them because I remember I had, like, um, I had, like, a phase where I was buying, like, a lot of, like, clothing items and then selling them to buy, sell, trade stores. And there was, like, some good ones that I have somewhere. So I just have to find them. But um, I will find them, Linda. Ooh, it's hard to say. Um, you can post photos in our Discord group. Actually, let me link it right here. You can post photos in our Discord group in the authentication section to see if anyone can help you um, on there. And I can also take a look at the photos as well. Um, but you can also get them authenticated um, through different websites. Uh, it's not a Facebook. You can use Real Authentication. Um, there's Authenticate First. And you can even go through Mercari and like add, like pretend like you're listing the item for sale and then use their authentication. But they use real authentication as well through there. But it is a little bit cheaper if you go through Mercari. But yes, that's our link right there. I will look for those band shirts. Hopefully I find them. Um, I'll try to find them by this weekend. So maybe like by, by Saturday sale. Um, hopefully I can find them. I honestly, I've been wanting to get into the garage to do work in there, but it's just been so crazy at the house since my parents have been gone. 
so much like running back and forth. The kids all have like five million activities. So, but now that the parents are back, it's going to be a little bit less crazy, hopefully. But I feel like there's no stopping these kids. We just keep adding activities onto their, onto their docket for every day. Like, I think Zach and, Zach and Eliza are both in water polo and gymnastics. And then Kate is in, he's on the um, water polo team. So he has so many practices. And then he has, like, games almost every weekend. So it's nuts. Yeah, that would be cool if you turn them into a blanket. Also, let me leave the link again also for the giveaway uh, for you guys to enter. I'll leave that in the live chat as well. Okay, let me grab some more bags really quickly. And I will be right back. All right, I got more stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay, uh, let's do this bin first. Okay. Sorry guys, it took me a second to grab these. Alright, next up we got item number 34. And for 34, I have, this is a super cute Kate Spade backpack. And it's in a red soft Fiano leather. And then the border, like, around it is in this printed, um, I think this is a coated canvas. 
and then it has these red roses on it. Super cute. It's in like new condition. We got the back straps that are adjustable. And then there's a front pocket right here. Front zipper pocket. I know. I brought, I brought out the bin. And then inside just has a zipper pocket and then an open pocket in the interior. So really, really cute bag. Great shape. Like new condition. Kate Spade. Okay, so this is our Kate Spade backpack in red Safiano with red rose trim and light gold hardware. And how much is this Spade Rain? How much? Okay, we're going to discount this one to $65. This one is in like new condition. That's going to be item number 34 for our red backpack. Number 34 for 65 Okay, next up, we've got number 35. I know the bins, they're so loud and heavy. This one has a lot of Kate Spade in it. Oh, um, this is a... Like, really have my lint roller right here. This is a vintage coach, and it is a. I already forgot the name of this style. But, oh, the Ergo. E R G O. This is actually a style that they have reinstated or they brought back um, from Coach. But this is the vintage one. This is made in USA. And what's unique about this is that it is red velvet on the front and the back. And then the rest is in leather. This is in wonderful condition. This is also made in USA, which is really cool. This bag is probably as old as I am. There's just one interior open pocket on the inside. It has a little magnetic snap up at the top. And this one you can wear on your shoulder. Like that it's really cute it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast 2 Kirsten that backpack I call it the Beauty and the Beast Kate Spade backpack it's a good Disney backpack okay this is number 35 oh DG House is called 34 congratulations DG House yay number 34 is going to you that's our Kate Spade backpack. And then our Ergo is number 35. Our Vintage Coach Ergo bag in black velvet and leather. And this one's how much, Adrian? How much? Okay, this one's 65 but we're going to do 55 today. $55 for our Vintage Coach. And again, that one is made in USA. That's number 35. And that one is in really great condition, too. It looks pretty much like new. And I think these retail, like the new ones, for like almost 400 or something like that. They're really expensive. That's number 35. I think I actually have one of the new ones, but I think it's in a different bin. It's a pink one. Um, okay, next up, we got 36. Oh, this is a cute little coach bag. I have so many coach bags. This one's cute. This is probably from like the early 2000s, late 90s. And uh, this is just the black leather coach, and then it says Coach Zimbaz right there on the front. Yeah, these little buckle details. It also does have the little hang tag right here. You can wear this as a shoulder bag, or you can turn this into a little wristlet as well. And this does zip across the top, which is fantastic. And it has one open pocket on the interior right there. And it is super clean inside and out. It's in great shape. And this is going to be item number 35. And 
black coach shoulder bag with gold hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $40. That's going to be item number 35 for 40 bucks. I mean, 36. Adrian, thanks. I'm at 36. Um, oh, Rusty, I just wanted to make sure you're calling this one, right? The This little black um, coach and not the other one? Because I, I numbered them wrong. I'm sorry. This one was 36 and this one was 35. Okay, 36. Perfect. Congratulations, Rusty. This one's going to you. Oh, I think this is your first purchase, too. So just uh, if you could just make sure to send me an email right there, and we'll send you your invoice. But congratulations. Yay. All right. Congratulations, Rusty. Next up, we got item number 37. And, ooh, this one is a Madewell. This is a Madewell crossbody bag. It's in this beautiful, like, olive green leather. So, so nice. You got a crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable right here. Uh, there's a big front pocket right here that has a magnetic snap at the top. And the main compartment has a zipper. And there's no pockets or anything inside of there. But the inside is all suede. It's unlined. This bag is in light new condition. The color is stunning. And I love the silhouette of this bag. It's kind of like rounded at the bottom. I love the shape. And this is going to be item number 37. This is our um, olive green made well leather cross body bag with brass hardware and this one is how much Adrian? okay this one is going to be sixty five dollars it's number thirty seven okay and next up we have Number 38, but here's one last look at 37 before we go on to our next item. There's the bottom corner. I got this beautiful Kate Spade, and this is in a soft piano leather. It has these cool laser cutouts, and this has gold hardware. Got the top handles, the crossbody is removable and adjustable. And the interior has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. The bag is in really great shape. There's just some discoloration towards the top by where the zipper is just from normal wear. And the exterior is in pretty good shape. No like major um, rubbing or discoloration anywhere. Really nice. I love the color of this one. Really pretty color, too, for spring and summer. And it's a really good size as well. This is number 38. Kate Spade, Safiano. Um, it's kind of like a sea foam green leather with laser cutouts and gold hardware. And this is how much, Fadrian? Okay, let's do this one for $60. It's going to be number 38. We had it at 75 We're going to discount that one. And that's going to be number 38. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jeannie. If you guys can give the video a thumbs up, it always does help the channel immensely. I would greatly appreciate it. Next up, we got 39. But so that's 38. One more look before we go on to our next item. Oh, here we go. This one is a super fun Patricia Nash crossbody bag. 
<laughs> it's also gonna come with this little <laughs> thing on here that says mermaid vibes. And I just came with the bag. Uh, but it's beautiful. It's in this, um, like, suede leather in, like, a taupey tan color. It has these really fun tassels on the front. Definitely, like, boho, um, like, what's that thing that's happening soon in the desert? Coachella vibes. Uh, it has, like, this embossed print right there on the front. And the little... Um, Patricia Nash logo on the back. There is a little discoloration just right there. That's where the magnetic snap is. So just from the rubbing. Um, there's a pocket right here. And then there is the main compartment right here. There's a zipper pocket and then three little card pockets on the other side. And the inside of this is in really great shape. Nice and clean. And this does zip across the top. The crossbody strap also is adjustable, and the underside of the strap is actually a smooth leather, which is nice. So it makes it more comfortable to carry when you're carrying it on your shoulder. But yeah. Festival bag! There you go. We have Coachella at home. Yeah! I don't, I don't think I could ever go to Coachella. I feel like it's too many people, it's too dirty, too loud. Uh, so this is our Patricia Nash long fringe bag in taupe, tan, suede, leather, and antique brass hardware. Okay, we're doing this one for 55. That's going to be item number 39. 55. Oh my gosh, we're at 40. Wow, we got to 40 before 4 o'clock? That's crazy. Um, I'm not really a concert person. Like, I've been to a few concerts, then they're, and they're fun. But, I don't know, it's just, like, too loud. And if I'm not, like, the loudest person in the room, then I don't want to be there. So, <laughs> I don't know. I know. Maybe was like, you're so dramatic. You don't like loud concerts. How dare there be loud music at the concert? If I can't hear myself singing along, then I don't want to be there. Um, oh, I found the other Ergos. They're like literally all in the same. I don't know how that happened, but um, this is a, this is like the re-edition of the Ergo. This pink one. And then this is like a vintage one from back in the day. So I do have these. And it's pretty cool to see the comparison. This one has a little bit of a longer strap. This strap is adjustable on the pink one. The pink one also is in a canvas. And then this is an all black leather made in USA. This one's made in China. So and the opening of the pink one is like also a little bit bigger as well. Yeah, Kirsten, we're the same. I've done festival. <gasps> you know what, though? I have been to Wango Tango. And I have been to, um... What's that Christmas one that's also by, like, that Wango Tango does? It's like, Jingle Ball? I've been to Jingle Ball, also. And I remember, like, um... My friends from high school made me go. And... I think I went to Wango Tango when I was still in high school. That was, like, awful. It was so hot. <laughs> I did get to see a lot of, like, pretty cool performers, though. I, like, saw Destiny's Child. And I think I saw... There's Shakira. There was J-Lo. I saw Avril Lavigne. Um, that's pretty the cool thing about going to, like, a Wango Tango thing is, like, you get to see, like, um, a bunch of different artists. But... Hi, Nene. How are you? Yeah, but I don't even remember the last... I don't... Wait, what was the last concert that I was actually at? I don't remember. I feel like it was Britney Spears' Dream Within a Dream Tour. <laughs> that was like a gazillion years ago. Oh! 
Oh my gosh, Anne, that sounds crazy and loud. Okay, so this is uh, our vintage Ergo Coach shoulder bag. Black vintage leather Coach Ergo um, bag made in USA. And how much is this one, Adrian? No, the black Ergo. It's not pebbled leather, though. It's like a glove. Okay, we're doing this one for we're doing this one for fifty dollars. This one's forty for fifty. Okay. And then we're gonna go to forty one. What time is it? It's four. <gasps> I probably have to go soon. Okay, maybe we'll go to like should we go to forty five or fifty? Maybe we'll go to, we're gonna we're gonna go to fifty, then I gotta go because I gotta make a cake. Um I think I, do I need to go to the grocery store today? No, I don't think I need to go to the grocery store. Was I supposed to go anywhere today? I don't know. Today was a blur. I don't even know what happened today. I have all these bags I need to clean up. Um, I have this really great Coach wallet on a chain. And this is in a glazed blue croc leather with silver hardware. I have the crossbody strap right here. It is removable. Uh, I just don't have the little, um, the, what is it called? Like, uh, the hang tag for this bag. But this bag is in like new condition. There's a big back pocket right here. And this opens up. The interior is super clean. It's like literally in like new condition. It still has like the cardboard that comes with it. There's a zipper pocket right here. And then we got six card slots eight card slots back there and then uh, another pocket there phone definitely fits beautifully inside of there Ooh, look at the orange and the blue that is a good combo and they can also just use this as a wallet or a clutch too so you don't have to have that cross body strap but you always do have that option which is right here and this is number 41 this is our Blue glazed. I cannot spell blue. Glazed. Croc embossed leather coach wallet on chain with silver hardware. I know. I'm going to post photos. Hopefully when I make it, I don't... Like the ganache doesn't look crazy like it did last time. But it was so delicious. Okay, how much was this feeder? Okay, we are going to discount this one to $75. Again, this one is in really great shape. It's in like new condition. It's going to be number 41. Okay. Next up. Um, I also still have this super cute Hobo International, like, little crossbody bag. And this is in a pearlescent, uh, like, cream-colored leather. And it's brand new, so has, like, all the packaging on it. Retail for this is $198. Top handles, crossbody strap is... Um, crossbody strap is removable, but not adjustable for the crossbody strap. Then at the top, you have, like, a little kiss lock opening right there. And inside, there's a zipper pocket. And then you got three card slots. Really cute bag. It also does have little feet on the bottom as well. Ooh, and when's that concert gonna be? Guys, I went to a concert four years ago at Fox Theater in Atlanta. The group was from Iceland. <gasps> Pollyanna, that sounds scary, though. Okay. 
Alright, so this is number 42. This is our Hobo International Pearlescent Cream Cross Body Bag. New with tags. And this one, let's just do this one for $50. Again, new with tags. Retail on this one was $198. That's number 42 for $50. Then 43 is up next. Okay. Up next, let me grab another bin really quickly. Oh, cursing phone definitely fits inside. Phone definitely fits. And it fits standing up, too. So, fits standing up. It can even fit laying down. So, awesome. But yes, yeah, so that's our Hobo International bag. 42. Then... Next up... Oh, Kirsten's call 42! Yahoo! Congratulations, Kirsten. Do they sound like um, Mario? <laughs> Woohoo! Did anyone watch the new uh, Mario movie? The kids loved it. I don't know if John loved it more or if the, my nephews loved it more, but like they were obsessed. And we were just going, Woohoo! Like, days. <laughs> but congrats, Kirsten! It's so cute! Yay! Oh, they did, but I was busy. <laughs> it was on one day. Mario, is that you? Oh, yeah, I just, you know, I just made the, I just did the sound for the Yoohoo part. I was kind of sad, though, that, like, it wasn't all, like, the, the regular accents, but I mean, that's fun. It's fine. It's me, Mario. <laughs> um, next up, this is a Marc Jacobs collection bag, and it's in a black patent leather. I call these, like, whenever anything's patent, I always call it, like, a rain bag. I need, like, a good patent rain bag, but, like, a little tiny one. Um... I want, like, a little tiny, like, a Chanel mini in patent. Preferably, like, a black or, like, a navy. I think it would be so cute as, like, a rain bag. But this one is fantastic. It's large and in charge. You can fit everything in the kitchen sink inside of here. Um, this is from also my favorite Marc Jacobs um, collection collection with this hardware on it. I call this the Lorelei collection because she always had these bags on Gilmore Girls. But this is black patent leather. This is made in Italy. Silver hardware. The exterior is in pretty good condition. Uh, just nice and shiny black patent leather. There's a nice big front pocket right here. You can definitely fit your phone inside of there. And then it zips across the top. Inside, there's a zipper pocket and then an open pocket in there. And it's just kind of like a gray taupe color um, lining. There is like some slight discoloration like around the edges of the bag, but I think most of it is actually from the glue used to assemble the bag. It started to yellow a little bit, so I think that's where that color is coming from. Um, but yeah, the inside's pretty clean. I think there might be one or two tiny, like, pen dots in the interior, which is going to be impossible to show. It's, like, mostly in the corners. But yeah, she is a beauty. Also does have the crossbody strap, which is um, adjustable and removable, also. And the short or the top handles are long enough to carry on your shoulder as well, which is fantastic. And forty-three. So this is our black patent um, Mark Jacobs collection, made in Italy. 
large satchel with silver hardware. And this one's how much for this guy? Okay, we're just going to do this one for just $85. That's going to be item number 43. Uh, I believe the retail for this one was like $8.50 to $9.50 when it was um, still being sold in stores. I think my mom has the same exact bag, but in like a tan color. She has quite a few of these from this collection because she was obsessed with Gilmore Girls, so. <laughs> but nice black patent. Um, this is how it looks. Crossbody. Again, this is the shortest that it goes because you can extend it way more. But it's a great crossbody bag also. You could even probably use it as a, like, a weekender overnight bag because it is really large. Okay, so that's number... What number was this? Uh, 43. Um, <laughs> Lady Badger, are you calling it? <laughs> She's, like, on the fence. Gilmore Girls, woo! I don't know. <laughs> okay, 44. But, um, Lady Badger, were you calling it? Just want to make sure. Up next, we have a Philip Lim. This is a messenger cross body bag. And, oh, on the hammock. Ooh, I still have the white one. Okay, so this is our Philip Lim Messenger in green. It has gold hardware. She's super cute. Has a little top handle. Hi, Leslie. How are you? All right, Lady Badger's calling it. Congratulations, Lady Badger. That one's going to you. Where is she? She's a beauty. She's going to be a beautiful addition to your Marc Jacobs collection collection. Okay. Uh, okay, 44. <laughs> Congratulations, Lady Badger. Yay. Okay, so this pops open like this. It does also have the crossbody strap. I just have it tucked inside. The crossbody strap is not removable, though. And inside, it just has a zipper pocket right there. And the inside is in pretty good shape. Not, like, any crazy marks or stains or anything. Um, there is some slight rubbing on the corners. I think I can color match these, though, so... If you buy it, I'll color match it see that the color rub off will not be noticeable at all. <laughs> and look how cute it looks though when it has like the little wings like open. Like I love the look of it. It's so cute. And then crossbody straps are adjustable, like I said. And looks like that. And this will fit like a 13 inch um, MacBook Pro for sure inside or an iPad Pro. And this is our green Philip Lim Messenger bag with gold hardware. Okay, this is how much paid range? Okay, this one's $85. Keeping that one under 100 as well. That's number 44 for our Philip Lim. 85 <gasps> Oh, I love dishes, Leslie. And how did I forget about plates and mugs? I also am obsessed with dinnerware. Plates and mugs. Obsessed. 
Okay. So that's this guy right here. The green on this is really, really pretty too. You don't really see too many bags in like this green or in green in general. I feel like it's so rare. You know what I really like is to add like a group, like a, I love like a neon green. Like, do you see like that neon green color right there? Whatever that is. Like the shoes. I want a bag in that color. I do have like the little, um, Smiley face Lueve phone bag, but so good. All right, next up, <laughs> Lady Badger's calling it. Congrats, Lady Badger. 44 is going to you. Okay, next up, we got 45. Oh, I still have this backpack. Please, someone get this Stella McCartney backpack. It's so cute. It's in, like, the acid wash denim. It has this metallic purple trim and gunmetal hardware and then gray straps. She doesn't use any actual leather. She only uses her, her um, vegan leather. So none of the straps on these are leather. They're all just, like, a coated canvas, essentially. Uh, but this is in wonderful condition, like new. This is the bottom. This is the back. Straps are adjustable. It's magnetic top flap, but also just has the drawstring in there as well. And then the inside, it just has a zipper pocket in the back. And this is going to be item number 45. And this is our denim Stella McCartney backpack with gunmetal hardware and metallic um, magenta trim and gray uh, vegan leather. Yeah, so she doesn't use any animal products at all in anything. <laughs> Lady Badger. Okay, Adrian, how much is this, uh, Stella going to be? Okay, we have the Stella... Let's discount it down to 240, okay? 240 for the Stella McCartney backpack. Oh, thank you, Leslie. I used to work in the handbag department of a major department store. So, they, um, I kind of received like some training through there, but just through trial and error and just like, I, I would actually ask, um, we had a, a shoe cobbler in the mall where I worked at also. And he... I, I was introduced to him by my manager at the store. And he helped me, like, with products and stuff, too. So he would ask to, like, help me out with any questions or anything that I had. But also just, like, research, trial and error, just looking stuff up online. Um, that's how I learned all that stuff. So that's also how I learned, um, like, to how to authenticate a lot of different brands of handbags. Because I was the designer handbag specialist at our store. So, all the designer handbags went through me. <laughs> okay, 46. We're almost done, you guys. 46. This is the whole home stretch. Is that what it's called? In sports? I don't know. Sports. Okay, up next. Whew. Let's do <laughs> uh, number 46. This is a rag and bone. This is the large pilot satchel. This is in all black. So this is the all black version. Usually these come in like a color block situation, but this one is just all black, which is nice because it's really easy to keep, um, to like keep, clean and to keep looking good this does have like some signs of wear though there is like some slight rubbing on the corners but again we will refresh this before we send it out and black is really easy to keep looking good um it has different colored hardware on these bags there's both silver there's gold and then also gunmetal um top handles Crossbody strap is not going to be the original crossbody strap i had these two on here to see which ones i liked with it you can pick which one you like if you end up getting it, but I 
kind of like the thicker strap on this one. And this is a Lululemon strap. It's um, just black canvas. The other one is a black like leather with like white stitching. Uh, there's two front pockets right there. There's a back zipper pocket right there. This does zip across the top and then inside just has a zipper pocket and an open pocket in the interior. And this is just a great, great like travel bag. Um, even everyday bag. It is a little heavy though, to be honest. The leather on this is quite substantial. So this is a little bit of a heavier bag for sure. But um, it will definitely fit all your essentials. There's uh, feet on the bottom. Uh, here's the back. Zipper pocket, nice and large. And <laughs> this is <laughs> 40. Lady Badger's already enabling Leslie. But welcome, Leslie. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so this is our black um, rag and bone large pilot bag. Um, Sandra, the, the short straps, not really, unless you have like a really small arm. My arm does definitely doesn't fit in the little top handle. But you could definitely um, wear it with a strap. This strap too is fully adjustable, so you can wear it as a crossbody like that. Or you can sh definitely shorten it. And then now you have a nice shoulder bag like that. Okay. Um, black Rag and Bone Pilot bag. And this is uh, how much page for this one? Okay, we're going to do this one for a really good price. We're just going to do this for $55. I believe the retail on this is almost like around like $450 to $500, I think, for this guy. So that's going to be number 46, okay? That's $55 for our Rag and Bone Large Pilot Bag. And then up next, we got number 47. Okay, 47 is going to be... Kirsten, I don't know about muscle. It's just too much something. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but it's definitely not muscles. Um, oh, Cindy's calling number 46. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay! Such a great bag. Congratulations. Oh, which strap did you want, Cindy? Did you want the fabric strap or do you want the leather strap? Just let me know which one you want. Um, I bel I don't know what brand the black one is, but this, the fabric one is a Lululemon. Um, but this one is just a leather strap. Not so subtle flex there, my God. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Melissa. You're very welcome. Okay. Yeah, no, the, my arms are not muscular at all. Like, honestly, I have, like, nothing. It's nothing. It's just extra skin from when I lost weight. That's all it is. Fabric. All right, Cindy, fabric strap is yours. That's the one I prefer to. I really like that. Okay. I guess that leaves me with this strap if anyone's interested. This is, um, I don't know the brand on this one, but it's just a black leather strap and then it has like contrasting cream stitching on the inside and then silver hardware. It has these little studs on the ends as well. So we have this strap if anyone was interested. I'll just put this up because people were asking for straps. So black leather strap with silver hardware. And this one, uh, let's just do this one for $15. That's going to be item number 47. And that's uh, $15 for number 47 if anyone was interested in that strap.
and then 48. Exactly, Kirsten. It's a really thick strap, too, so it'll help balance out the weight of the bag when you're carrying it. All right. That's our strap. Oh, DG House is calling it. Congratulations, DG House. Strap's going to you. Yay, I'm glad we had a strap for you. Forty-eight is up next. Oh, and we are having another live sale tomorrow. I think I have it set at... What time do I have the live set tomorrow? I think I have it set at 9 o'clock. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, next up, I have... This is a Madewell... This is the Transport Tote. And... This one does have some wear. It is a lighter color. It's in like this cream colored leather. And it's also missing the crossbody strap on this guy. And there are like some, you can see some marks on the front. There's some marks on the back as well. And there's a big front pocket right here. And then the interior has just one interior zipper pocket. There are also some pen marks in the inside there as well as some discoloration like on the pocket right there. But the bag has so much life left. This is also a good project bag if you wanted to dye it. You can dye it pretty much any color because it is a lighter colored leather. So pretty much any color you can do on this guy. So um, orange, yellow, red, green, blue, or black, gray, anything like that. Strap is long, so you can carry this one on your shoulder. And it does have the D-rings on the inside, so you can attach a crossbody strap to it. Just as it come with the original one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is definitely going to be unhinged. I feel like our Friday night live sales are the craziest. They're so fun. Friday and Saturday nights are always <laughs> so much fun. Oh, my gosh, last week, I was dead. I had so much fun those nights. Um, okay, so this is our cream Midwell large transport tote. Um, and this one's going to be $30, you guys, and that's going to be number 48. And then 49. Yeah, it would be really fun to paint it. You can do, like, a pretty, like, floral motif or like some fun characters or something i think it'd be cool if you guys remember that uh bag that my sister and i worked on like i cleaned it up and then she actually painted like a whole miyazaki thing on it it was um a small transport tote and that looked so so cute oh i missed that bag i was like why did we sell it we should have kept it you know we still have the sailor moon bag that she did i think I think we still have it. I don't think we ever sold it. That one was so cute, too. That one was so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, she still has it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that was our transport tote. And then next up, um, I have, this is a coach. And this is in a... Oh, Kirsten's called 48! Oh, Kirsten is so good at, like, painting on leather now, too. I saw that wallet that she did, Kirsten. I hope you paint something beautiful on this. And I hope it has something to do with Calcifer or Totoro. But congratulations, that was going to you. Love a good transport tote. Oh, Kirsten, hold on. I'm going to link that bag, or the video, so you guys can see it. It's so, so good. We did, like, a whole thing. Like, we did an intro. Like, it was, like, official. Like, we actually worked pretty hard on that video. Hold on. Let me find it so I can um, put it right there for you guys to see. Sailor Moon. Here it is. Okay, here's the Sailor Moon video. Uh, if you guys want to check it out. It's so good. I linked it a bunch of times. So, um, that's that. Uh, 
Okay. Um, let me just click it a couple more times. Okay. So there's that video. If anyone wants to check it out, let uh, let me know what you guys think. It's like it came out so cute. I even thrifted like a Sailor Moon costume for her, so it was like perfect timing, and it was just really funny. So, yeah. Okay. Next. Oh, back to um this one. I still haven't tried, like, painting anything, like, on bags. I don't know. I just haven't. I feel like the texture is just hard, but. Okay, 49. This is a coach bag. Yeah, that's my sister, Yasmin. <laughs> and that was, like, not from too long ago. I think it was, like, a year and a half ago when we made that video, so it wasn't that long. Uh, this is a coach shoulder bag. It's in kind of like this maroon pebbled leather. And it has gunmetal colored hardware. It even has the little metal hang tag. The hang tag does have some marks on it. Um, and so does the hardware. There's like a little bit of marks on it as well. But I feel like it still has so much life left. It has a cool like turn lock at the top as well. So it'll keep like the whole bag like closed up. And it looks like this on shoulder. Really, really cute. Also has the coach little hardware right there. There's a couple, Kirsten. There's that one. There's a Totoro one. Like the Howl's Moving Castle. One was so good. Um She's just like full time school right now, and then the kids with all their activities and everything. Like, she doesn't have time to do anything anymore. So, she's not even taking commissions anymore. Um, corners do have some slight wear to them. Like, some slight discoloration and rubbing. But nothing crazy. Um, there's the back. And it does have little feet on the bottom as well. There's a zipper pocket in the back, and then two open pockets on the other side. And then in the middle, um, I'm hopeful we can get most of it out, but it looks like some makeup exploded. So um, hopefully we can get most of it or all of it out, but we're going to sell it as is for the time being. Um, but it will probably look better than that because we're going to try and clean it for sure. But the otherwise, though, the bag is in pretty good condition. And I really like the color and the style. This is also the updated version of this style as well with the turn lock. Right, Leslie? It's a really cute bag. Like, I love picking up this, like, the same particular silhouette. It's the one that they always bring back, like, every year. They just change little things about it. Like, this one has the turn lock. Sometimes they have, like, a buckle on top. Um, sometimes they'll change, like, the style of the hardware, stuff like that. Uh, this is Air Coach um, Maroon Fuchsia shoulder bag with gunmetal hardware and this one is going to be 50 50 we'll just see 50 uh, but we, like i said we will try to clean up the inside as well as we can i'm pretty positive most of it will come out but um we're pricing it lower just in case we can't get all of it out okay so that's gonna be item number 49 for 50 dollars and looks like pollyanna called that one first i'm sorry jean Pollyanna called that one right before you, but congratulations, Pollyanna. That one is going to you. Congrats. All right, we got one more item to go after this one. And we got item number 50. Okay, number 50. Why do I make this one good? What else do I have? Um... <gasps> Wait, did I show you guys my new bag? Hold on, before we end, or before we show our last item, look how cute it is. It's uh, it's kind of like unhinged how crazy it looks. But um, 
<laughs> I was just having fun with it. It's like this giant Balenciaga like shopper bag. It's like the Bizarre Tote, but it's mesh. And it's like a blue mesh, silver hardware. It didn't have a crossbody strap to it. So I found, I had these clips that fit inside so I could attach a crossbody strap to it. But I just ordered some like D-rings that should fit through here, which hopefully will come tomorrow. So I'll be able to actually like officially attach like a proper strap to this. But so far it's been working out and I have um, some charms on here. This is that Heen charm and then these like little guys as well so oh and i have my fendi blue bacon strap on there um <laughs> i'll let you know and um oh sandra you know i think i do have a large rebecca minkoff hold on one second let me go let me go check really quick i think i do have do i have one over here oh i still have that blue clear chanel too Okay, I do have this one, um, Rebecca Minkoff, and this one is going to be an as-is, um, though it's not like in crazy condition. I think it just needs a good proper cleaning, to be honest. Um, I guess I can actually just do it with you guys right now. But this is the, let me show it to you guys first. It's like a chalk white Rebecca Minkoff satchel. And it kind of is like a Balenciaga style um, silver hardware. It just has like a bunch of like stains. I think most of it will come out to be honest though. A cross body strap, top handle, inside um, just black lining. Uh, let me Let me clean it off right now though. I'm pretty sure that this will clean off and you can get it looking good for anyone that may be interested in it and we're just going to use my kiwi cleaner right here this stuff is fantastic i'm pretty confident this will get most of the marks out like there's this mark right there it looks like someone spilled something Stop, and what color, what size, and how much? But anyone else that wants it can have first dibs on it, even though I kind of want one. Because I'm crazy. Oh yeah, that mark came... That mark came right out that was on that side right there. So... Pretty sure all these marks will come out, because I think they're all superficial. I don't think any of them are anything that aren't going to come out. Mm, maybe this is a mark right here. That might be color loss. Oh yeah, those are. Okay, yeah, there's a couple of spots right here, especially that one right there. That's actual color loss. The color actually has come off in that little section. Uh, but here are these marks right here. Under 1400? <gasps> it's the blue? What color blue? Kirsten, are you going to get it? Get it, Kirsten, get it!
Um, does it fit on shoulder? Let me see. I don't know if the shoulder straps or like the top handles will fit, but let's see. Oh yeah, all these marks are coming off on the bottom too. I feel like it's this, that little, that spot on that one side that I showed you where there's actual color loss. Um, oh no, top panels are sh kind of short. So it would fit like, it's really tight. I can squeeze it on, but unless you have like a really like small arm, it's not going to fit on your shoulder. Okay, this is number 50. This is our um, off-white chalk pebbled leather Rebecca Minkoff satchel with silver hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for um, $35. And that's number 50. So we pretty much got off all the marks on it. It's just that one little spot of color loss on the front there. But that's number 50 for $35. And then that's our last item for the day. <gasps> Dark blue? What size? Small or medium? Oh, you got to get it, Kirsten. Get it. <laughs> Okay, last uh, last item for the day, fifty. <gasps> Kirsten, are you gonna get it? Lady Badger called it number fifty. Congratulations, Lady Badger. Rebecca Minkoff is going to you. Woo! All right. Okay. That is our last item for the evening. Let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway as well. Uh, Sandra, I have more Rebecca Minkoff. I will bring them out tomorrow. So tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific time um, is going to be our next live sale. Um, I'm going to hopefully have a like some garage sale stuff. Hopefully, cross your fingers for me, but I'm not 100% sure. Um... But we'll definitely have some more goodies then. But that um, that puzzle sounds like it's a really good price. It's going to be around $1,400. Ooh, and let me see. Okay. That, <laughs> there's the link one more time, though, for the giveaway. I'll also leave the link for our Discord if anyone would like to join our unhinged conversations that we have over there, obsessing over Loewe puzzle bags. Uh... That link is this guy right here. If anyone would like to join our Discord, there you go. It's super fun. The chat never ends. You guys literally are always on there like 24-7. There's people talking in there, which is so much fun. Um, I'm looking for that post. Ooh, Linda, you look so cute with your... With your Lovey bags. I just saw that right now. Oh, how cute. Oh, oh I, no, Tanya already left, though. Huh? But yeah. Yeah, don't do the other one. Oh, the puzzle bag is beautiful. <gasps> Wow, is someone going to buy it? Okay, if one of you guys are going to buy it, let me know. I might want to buy it, but I don't know. Can mediums? Yes, mediums can cross body cursing. Mediums and smalls, they both can. Both sizes can. They all can be cross bodied. Not me being so excited for Kirsten. Ah! But, uh... <laughs> not me being, like, the number one enabler of that place. Okay. Well, let's pick our giveaway winner now. Because... 
I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get going. I got, I gotta make a cake. But let me know if no one wants it, because I might end up getting it. I, don't, I just want to buy it if any one of you guys are going to get it. Leslie, the, um, and we'll put the link in the Discord for you. So jo go join the Discord. It'll be over there. All right. We're picking our winner in three... Two, one. Do, 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 do. All right, looks like DG House is our winner for tonight. Ice Plurge on Art Supplies. Oh, I love Art Supplies, and you're an artist, so of course you do. But congratulations, DG House. You are the winner of tonight's giveaway. You have won our um, cute little heart keychain mirror in um, silver glitter. Congratulations! Yay! All right, you guys, that is the end for today. I gotta go bake a cake, hopefully. Um, and I gotta clean up this mess that I made behind me. But join me again tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Pacific time for another live sale. And then there's gonna be another one on Saturday at 10 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays, I feel like, are so much fun. We always have a blast. So I hope to see you guys all there. I love you guys all immensely. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great day tomorrow. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. Oh, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. All right. Adios. Sayonara. Adios.